One of the very first celebrities I ever did was for a Broadway show, and it was my first Broadway show, and I was most nervous about doing her, because it was my first one. It was Renee Taylor from um, The Nanny. She played the nanny, Fran Drescher's mother. I was a wreck, and I am a prankster. So I have to tell you, I could play pranks all day long. One of the best pranks I ever played was I invited a friend over for dinner, and I gave her fake rubber salad, and she couldn't get her fork in it. Just saying. <laughs> also, one of my favorite things is movies. And I have to tell you, my favorite movie is a movie called Love Story. It was very sentimental, and it always touches my heart. And I'm not quite sure how I got the name Laura. It was my mother's favorite name. I don't think it had a meaning, but for those of you who don't know, my middle name is Joan. <laughs> yes, and there's no special reason for Joan either. And my son Daniel, I could talk about him all day long, but I want you to know one of the things about Daniel that I love the most is his heart. Well, but he's also a little stubborn. But his heart is huger than life. and. My, my lucky stone, does anybody else have a lucky stone? I have a lucky stone. It is rose quartz. And do you know I've had it for years and every day I touch that rose quartz stone at one point or another. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little superstitious, I think so. So where do I get my clothes? I'm sure you all wanna know. I, um, I love Bloomingdale's and I do most of my shopping on um, .com. Eloquy is another place that I love. And also, um, Chic Soul. They have some great plus size clothing items that I have found there that are very reasonable, I have to say. I am, charity is like giving back is so important to me and I've been doing it for so long. So one of the charities that I'm very close with is Cancer and Careers. And it really does help people who are going through treatment and need to stay in the workplace and they really help people navigate that whole process. And if you had to guess where my favorite place in the world is, it's Italy. I mean, is there any part of Italy that's bad? Have you ever gone to Italy and come back and said, I don't like that country? I mean, really. And when I think about my childhood, and all the music that I loved growing up with, it was really the Bee Gees. I mean, there was so many songs that stick in my head, and the Four Seasons, but the Bee Gees especially. And I'm a very picky eater. One more thing you didn't know about me, right? So I just have to say, <laughs> it's not that I eat a lot of different foods, but I do have my favorites, and one of them is pasta, the whole category. I love pasta. And so, one more thing about me. I did make up for weddings. And I'm gonna tell you something, just so everybody knows. I was one of the most sought after makeup artists for weddings. But there was one wedding I did where I actually forgot to do waterproof mascara on the bride. And don't you know, I put her mascara on and she was on the receiving line and I looked at her from afar and I thought, is that my imagination or is there black running all down her eyes? And yes, I forgot to use waterproof mascara. I ran up while she was on the receiving line and then I fixed it. <laughs> so I have a little puppy. She's two today actually. And she is Gigi and she's named after our Geller girls and guys. So she is our mascot. That's how I gave her her name, Gigi. Yeah, another thing you didn't know, right? Um, and so when I started in the business, and I'm talking a long time ago, if you haven't figured that out, um, I started with my very first business card and I put a lip on it. That was the thing everybody did, they put lips. I'm not original, but it's stuck. And I love <coughs> lips, so throughout my whole apartment, on almost everything I have, you will find lips in my house. And I just have this little obsession with lips. It's just another thing you didn't know about me. <laughs> it's one of the most favorite celebrities I ever worked on. And funniest was Dana Carvey. At that time he was on an SNL, 
But also, I just have to throw it in there, Joy Behar. Joy Behar, I actually did her makeup for when she interviewed um, to be on The View. And she and I were close friends, and still are, and she is so funny. So, have you ever lost your luggage? Here's another thing you didn't know about me. Ready for this? I was going to London to go on QVC, and they lost my luggage. And I got there, and I was panicked. So I ran, you always need a good excuse to go shopping, that was the perfect excuse. I ran to a store and I bought all my new wardrobe for the shows that I was gonna be on. Um, lucky for me, I did get my luggage back. Anyway, just another thing, my house is my refuge. And so it's very important to me that it's neat and clean and I'm a little bit obsessed about it and so you would think that everything would be neat and orderly. Not so much. Don't open my closet. I have a lot of work to do in there. So all the things I don't want shown, I kind of push into the closet, the main closet. And really my most prized possession are my photographs. I always think like what would happen if I had to run and where would I go? It would be I would take my, all my photographs, because not just photographs of myself, my son, but all my family and the generations. That, to me, is the most important. When I get my hair done and I go to my hairstylist, I'm like, you know what? What do you think? I trust that I'm dealing with a professional and they're going to give me the right thing. So I let my hairstylist pick my hair color. And I have no problem with that, which is why you may see different hair colors on me at different times. And the very first Broadway show I worked on was called It Had to Be You. And that was with Renee Taylor and Joe Bologna, her husband. And when I go to the nail salon, you know, I had tried for years to do acrylics and gels and realized that they all were hurting my nails. So now I just get a basic manicure and I always do a natural soft pink. I don't want my nails to look fake. There's nothing worse than that in my mind. For me, for me, just saying. One more thing you might not have known about me is how I take my coffee. And I love my strong cup of coffee in the morning with a little half and half and a stevia. That's my sweetener of choice. So give me a good cup of coffee in the morning with a little half and half and a stevia, I'm good. So. Ready for this? I had a blooper once on air. And by the way, 25 years, and I only ever had one blooper. I was selling a highlighter and presenting it, and I said, this contains no glimmer, or I wanted to say shimmer, but another word came out. It just had two T's in the middle. And I stopped myself because I was like, what am I gonna do? I mean, I can't believe I said it. The host didn't hear it, all the models heard it, and she just looked at me and went, Come on, come on. So I kept going on. So another thing is I hate hats. Listen, you put a hat on when you want to like cover up a bad hairstyle or if you didn't style your hair. So if I'm gonna take the time to style my hair, why am I gonna wear a hat? So I don't like hats, just saying. And another thing is I like sports, but I like spectator sports. Kind of thought you might think that too and baseball in particular. That's just about 25 things you now know about me.